I care about is money in this city that I'm from. I'ma sip until I feel it. I'ma smoke until it's done. I don't really give a fuck about the excuses that I'm young. But I'm only getting older. Somebody should have told you. Hey, right, what's up? What's happening, BKA? We back in the stand. K2 good. sleep with a cut up a throne. You know, the big dog on the tunnel. Tell me my light dying. It ain't dying. Well, anyways, we talk about Drake. We still got some Diddy shit to cover, but we gonna talk about Drake a little bit, man. So, Drake. So, some shit has been released. Uh, I seen it on Academics' stream, like, a couple days ago. But, basically, so, uh, Drake was allegedly exposed in a leaked voice memo with Johnny Blaze. Basically, this is a old one, because I think Johnny Blaze and Drake was, like, fucking around with each other around, like, what? Like, 2015, 2016? Around there, like, definitely not 2020 to 2024. I don't believe so. But, basically, there was this. I don't know if this is new. I don't think it's new. Yeah, I feel like this is some old stuff. Maybe they recently linked up and shit, but like I personally don't think this is new. I feel like this is an old uh, voice note. But hey, regardless, we gonna talk about it. We gonna see. Apparently, like she leaked some uh information. There was some shit like he was a slave to Live Nation, and let's discuss this a bit. Cause uh, I mostly heard it from Joe Budden. Uh, why is Drake uh touring so much? And I personally was just like, niggas touring probably he got thrown a bag. Maybe that is the case, and he really did get thrown a bag. It's better because he was sitting here on what was the fault of the dogs? You know, I got a little stomach issues. I got some shit. I'm ready to relax. I'm ready to go on vacation. This motherfucker running around doing the tour. Now, in Drake's defense, the whole Kendrick shit happened, and he didn't necessarily go on vacation, and the nigga's still in the lab working. But yeah, with this shit coming on, and apparently Live Nation probably gave him a check, and he's been running around touring at the end of the day. He's been doing his shit at the end of the day, so. This might allude to what Joe was saying. Like, this nigga's touring too much, isn't he? Like, this nigga doing a lot. So maybe they gave that nigga a bag. And he like, oh, I got to go get this money. And be running around. But anyways, let's break down. Let's read this shit real quick. By the way, how? listen, Drake like Johnny Blaze. Some, she a pretty girl. I ain't going to act like she not a pretty girl. But like, bro, this is crazy. bro. You see... Is it just like famous? Like, I, I get it. Drake is famous. You know, he has great songs. I'm pretty sure any girl, like, if she had a chance to smash him, like, yeah, you probably would. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that, like, yo, niggas is just like this, throwing it at this nigga. Like, bro. <laughs> Anyways, man, it's crazy. I don't know. Maybe that's just the famous life. Y'all just be fucking the fuck. Like, y'all just want, instead of, like, y'all actually garnering, like, a business relationship, no, nah, you just want that, uh, uh, sexual relationship to say, like, yeah, I did smash this dude. Like, I don't know. That might get you places. Shit, gets motherfuckers on loving hip-hop, but anyways, man. Considering his 100 gigs drops and how prolific he has uh, been throughout the years, it's no surprise that when we hear something about Drake online, also, didn't his, like, nudes get leaked? Ah, Drake, anyway. It's usually coming right from the source, right? Well, his narrative, uh, sorry, narrative, right? Well, his massive celebrity status, uh, gut, uh, guts all chances of that. Guts all chances. Anyways, moreover, he just found himself in the middle of a social media fight between his supposed ex, Johnny Blaze, and her friend, Ghetto Bart. Okay, here we go. All right, so these two is beefing and some bullshit got leaked. I, I, I'm picking it up. So there was beefing and shit. I believe the ghetto Barbie girl also said something about Big Boogie. Big Boogie. If you don't know about Big Boogie, he's an artist. I believe he's from Memphis. He got a couple songs out. Fuck with. Shout out Big Boogie. And he signed to Yo Gotti's CMG label. You know what I'm saying? Doing this thing. I fuck with Big Boogie. So again, and I don't know why they even mentioned him. Apparently the girl said something about Big Booty saying like, bro, his, you know what I'm saying? Genitalia smelled bad. Like he ain't grooming himself. He ain't take showers and shit. And a big boogie did respond like, "Keep me out your kite fight," and they did uh, apologize to him. So I'm not really going to death about that. And honestly, this ain't a big boogie story, but I do have to mention it. We mostly here to talk about Aubrey, so let's just continue onward. Uh, the latter of which exposed some alleged text messages between Blaze and the boy. In a long voice message, he seemed to basically address their past history together, and basically says that he's not super comfortable with uh. Re-engaging, re re-engaging, I guess. So in reality, uh, what Drake got exposed for here is apparently just curving Johnny Blaze respectfully and making it clear that he has no ill will towards her. However, the discussion about their history and how he sometimes doesn't know how to respond to her text messages 
indicate that it's probably more complicated than that. Regardless, it's none. It's not for us to find out. As some fans are more interested with uh, Drizzy's uh, supposed claim that he's being forced to tour. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. This shit close as hell. This shit close as hell. Push this back. Push this back. All right, it's the cat with a mat. I had to fix this motherfucking one. I had to deal with some shit real quick. But anyways, I'm back. Like I was saying, um, some fans are more interested with Drake's supposed claim that he's being forced to tour. Uh, for Live Nation. This refers to his um recent and extensive tour. It's all a blur series. Yeah. This motherfucker went on tour. He took a break. It was him and Savage. Then he got J. Cole and then the Canada part of the tour. J. Cole was gone. Then he ran around and got some other nigga, bro. This nigga was doing a lot, bro. And I was like, you yeah, you doing a lot of touring. I ain't going on. Oh Milagro still posting. Oh, shout out Milagro, bro. She's still over here. Anyways, back to this Johnny Blaze debacle, though she obviously was not happy with her former friend for linking these alleged rig messages, but it's not the only recent uh, uh, allegation to emerge around him. Steve Stout recently claimed, okay, yeah, we're going to have a separate video about this. I'm not really going to talk about this in this video. We're going to have a different video talking about this whole thing. If you don't know, check out for that video. Steve Stout basically says, oh, um, what's Brody name, what's Brody name, what's Brody name? Um... What's this motherfucking name again? Sorry, Steve South says Drake. I know, I'm talking about the nigga, I forgot his name. But Drake basically got approached for the Super Bowl the other day. He was talking some shit, bro. Uh, he turned down the Super Bowl twice. I personally don't know. Hey, man, listen, there's a lot of shit going on. Anyways. <laughs> Jay-Z just need to talk, but Jay-Z ain't gonna talk. But anyway, let's, let's breathe fast that. We ain't here to talk about that. We That's another video, but... What do you feel? There's just some basic shit, some petty shit between friends. They was beefing or whatever. They was trying to expose each other and the Drake messages did drop. Um, I do feel like a lot of people, myself included, are going to focus on the slavery thing for Live Nation. Live Nation being uh, uh, part of touring and stuff and you could do deals with them and shit. So I wouldn't be surprised for a Drake tour. They gave him a bag and he was doing his thing. And yeah to be yeah he probably is getting a couple m's per show honestly so yeah and we know hey drizzy gonna stack get his money up yo i i keep telling you bro like i still on my theory because i did say this nigga is trying to drop albums fast in order to get out of his deal to get his m's apparently like it was what his deal with um universal i believe like 400 m's allegedly around that ballpark so i wouldn't be surprised when he was dropping all them albums to finish the deal quick and of course it's over an amount of time and there's a amount of projects that have to be dropped but yeah also i don't know how collab albums work i don't know if her her loss counted I, yeah that's the one thing i really don't know but yeah like it is that nigga was doing a lot he was so hey we'll see exactly what's going on with that little situation but yeah man it was just some side beef or whatever. But hey, we got some more shit about Drake. So shit. I don't really know. What was that motherfuckers beefing about? Uh, Johnny Blaze and what's her name? Ghetto Barbie? What's y'all niggas beefing about? Y'all just exposing shit. But anyways, man. What do y'all feel? Comment down below. Links in the description. May, uh, also, I know I made the... Uh, sorry, before I cut off. Before I leave and end the video. I know I was saying some shit about, oh, this could have been an old message. I personally do feel like that. But maybe, hey. After Drake had the color darkness, Shorty was trying to be like, hey, wild well, one, you know, da 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 da, and try to talk to the nigga. Who fucking knows? But hey, we'll see exactly what happens. But besides all that, your friendly neighborhood KA sign off for today. Black TJ there while they're doing this thing. Name ring bells like Quasi Modo. Like, subscribe, try a little bit more to hear me. I'm gone. Slime Zoom, peace, gang. Aye.